What's up, guys? So, uh, so some uh, something weird about quitting weed, and I thought I was like the only one who experienced this, but um, now over time, I've noticed that other people um, have talked about this as well. But this is about getting brain fog while uh, while quitting smoking weed. Uh, and, uh, and this is actually a big reason of why I would get so comfortable relapsing because I would quit weed a period of time would go by and I would have all this brain fog and I'd be like, God, you know, and then, and then all of a sudden I would smoke and it was like, everything would get clear. And I just was like, Oh my gosh, you know, this is why I need weed in my life because weed, um, allows my brain just to work better. And so I'd convince myself to, uh, you know, go back to smoking weed and everything would be great until it wouldn't. It was like kind of like in the beginning, everything would be awesome, and then slowly it would just get worse and worse and worse. And uh, um, but then every time, you know, when quitting weed, that would happen again. I, you know, I would go through these different cycles, but one of them would be in a, a stage of, an, of increased brain fog. And and I don't really know what the science behind this and why this happens, but uh, what my theory on it is that it's your your brain adjusting back to reality, back to. Uh, uh, the reality of living day to day sober and that it can take longer than we think, especially for those that were a chronic daily marijuana smoker for many, many, many years. You know, obviously your brain um, has f formed a lot of new neurological connections due to uh, the habit of smoking weed every day. And so uh, when you're coming off smoking weed from being a, a daily smoker for years, your brain has got to recreate new new neurons, new connections. And so part of the, the process can be, in, in my theory, is having those temporary moments of, uh, of brain fog. And what I found is that it, they're just that, they're temporary, and what happens is that they get less and less, that it, that, you know, the, 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 those moments of brain fog, typically just, I find them to be just moments, and, uh, and they do get less and less. And also what I've noticed, now that I'm clear-headed all the time, and I'm a lot more clean in my lifestyle around, is that a lot of times brain fog has to do with our diet. You know, things that we're eating, um, you know, too much junk food or gluten or fried food, and next thing you know, you have brain fog, and it'd be easy to mask it with something like weed, where it's kind of like spray painting on rust. You're not really getting to the root of the problem, which is, you know, cleaning up your diet, um, you know, it, which is, you know, when you're putting fried food, different junk foods in your body, obviously, you know, your brain, it's, it's going to have an effect on your performance and, uh, and your mental clarity. And so it'd be easy just to mask it with something like smoking weed, but that's not getting to the root of the problem. So if you're someone that um, is experiencing brain fog while quitting weed, knowing that, know that that's normal, that's part of the process, I do believe that that has to do with just your brain adjusting back to the reality of, of everyday sober living, but also diet as well, you know, do a checkup from the neck up to see, you know, what you've been uh, eating over the past couple of days, especially the past 24 hours, what you were drinking, um, you know, everything that you were putting in your body. Uh, and even, you know, consider if you were outside, uh, you know, getting fresh air and sunshine, doing any exercise and all those different factors could play into having brain fog. And the fact that you're sober now, you're going to be more aware of things like brain fog, where before when you were high, you probably didn't even notice brain fog because you're already in a fog, you're high. And, uh, and so now that you're sober, things are going to stick out a little bit more. So nothing to worry about. Um, just uh, uh, know that it's, it's part of the process and it's also a signal for you to clean up different areas of your life, such as your diet and lifestyle and so forth. So until next time, guys, have a great day, great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.